Welcome to the Johns Hopkins Women's Health Podcast, A Woman's Journey, Insights That Matter. I'm Kelly Gear Ripkin, and I invite you to listen to Johns Hopkins specialists discuss the latest topics in women's health. Now here's your host, Lily Shockney. Hi, this is Lily Shockney from A Woman's Journey at Johns Hopkins, and this is our podcast, Healthy Insights That Matter. Approximately 20 million people in the United States and 344 million worldwide have dry eye disease. Dry eye is most common in people who are over the age of 50. In this particular... your phone becomes deficient, that's when you will get eye discomfort and you will get changes in vision. And structurally, when the tear film and the ocular surface are out of balance, the inflammation increases in the ocular Mm. surface And then there's damage to the structures of the ocular surface. You mentioned differences in gender. Can you talk a little bit more about that? Sure. Anybody can have dry eye. You had a great stat in the beginning with 20 million Americans having dry eye. But yes, dry eye is significantly more common in women than men with twice as many women experiencing dry eye symptoms as men. Gee, it doesn't say much for being female, does it? Golly day. (laughs) We have all these extra things that happen to us that we wish in fact did not. Is there anything that increases your 